Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. How are you? I just want to say, hey, how are you? I'm really excited today to bring uh, this topic for you because based on a lot of the things that have been happening really since about last year in August, the series of closures has just had so many people baffled. A lot of people don't really know what's going on. They don't know why their body is, you know, seeming to blow a gasket here and there. Kind of like when your car is chugging along and something goes bing, boing, and something happens. And that's actually an expression in my family. Happen. That means something is happening that you're not quite sure why it happened. And you're sort of like, I guess that was supposed to happen. But is it supposed to happen to you? Is it really supposed to be this way? Sometimes people get very disillusioned. And that's also something that I want to talk about uh, to you today. The level of disillusionment is really pervasive for people. And it's hard to feel encouraged. It's hard to keep uplifted. It's hard to keep holding the faith sometimes. It's just difficult with the challenges. And a lot of people have been uh, really entering into their down to earth stuff, meaning there are genuine things that need to be attended to. They have to do with family. They have to do with children. They have to do with making arrangements, sometimes for elderly sick parents. And that's a lot of people. And I've been through some of it myself. I was through some of it years ago when I didn't even have this level of energy. Life is going to be like that. And there's always going to be things that come up in life. One of the misconcepts about this journey is that somehow you enter into some utopia when you're with your twin. And that is true because the utopia is actually being with them. However, the world still tries to intrude. So that is actually the real bottom line here is your, the brand new structure of your twin flame body is an actual design. There is an actual plan. There is an actual template. The actual plan has been to be able to lift the mind and the mood of everybody. And some of you may feel that you're a catalyst among people. I call it the hub. Maybe you're the hub in your family. You're just kind of the person who's like the spoke. Everyone goes around you, and yet there's some uplifting thing that's happening. You may see people going through what you recognize as ascension symptoms. And I've had some personal experiences with this lately. People have been telling me all kinds of stuff, and I don't mean in sessions. What I mean is, uh, for one example, I was recently, this happened both times at my fitness center. I was at my fitness center, and a gentleman got into a conversation with me about how disillusioned he re it really is in his marriage. He has spent probably 15 years trying to figure out why the woman he's married to is mean to him, why he feels trapped, and trying to figure her out. And inside me, I knew that this is a marriage on the way out, just like I've known those types of things for years and years and years. Why? Because the body won't sustain it, meaning the higher subtle body will not sustain such things. He deserves love. He deserves real genuine love of someone who just loves him. And so does she. She deserves someone who just loves her. No two people should feel trapped. And these are just some of the topics that come up where something inside me says, uh-huh, on the journey, maybe not knowing it, but distinctly set on the path and there's no going back. In another conversation, I could not help but overhear because five feet away from me, someone was on their phone, very concerned about their teenage son. The teenage son had been having strange headaches, so strange that they brought the child to the doctor 
Um, they were getting a bunch of tests by a neurologist. So I do applaud the parent for making sure no stone was unturned that the physical health of their child was of utmost importance. And you don't always see this. You don't always see parents who care about a boy child or parents who care about a girl child. So this was beautiful to see. But the more I kept overhearing the conversation, I, I went up to her after it and they were waiting on pins and needles for some kind of report. And I said, look, we don't know each other, but I actually happen to be an energy healer and I couldn't help but overhear what you're talking about. And I said, there's a, something you may not have heard about, but it's called ascension symptoms. It has a lot to do with um, releasing things that run in the family, releasing patterns, helping to make someone healthy, but it's really strange. And not only that, my own son has been through it. What I feel is that your boy is gonna be okay, but if you have any questions, look it up, or here's my information. And she said to me, well, you know, we're, we're getting a neurologist test now, we're gonna see how, what that shows. I can't guess with these things because I also have people come back and say they found some kind of a benign tumor that's pressing on something and it's livable, it's manageable, but now we have an answer. And if there is nothing physical, then rest assured, it can be metaphysical. However, this is where the new subtle body connections come in because they need to anchor at certain places. And this is not only what I know about, this is what I've been living, this is what I've been reinforcing, this is what I teach, and this is what I help people with. This is what I'm bringing to the table, you could say. Not only that, I'm teaching people so that if those people lived in another neighborhood, they could be a go-to live person to work with. So this is the beauty part of this is that some of you, while you might feel you've been led down some kind of primrose path, that you're here now, right in time for certain alignments to happen. You're not just milling about in God's waiting room. And there's other things that you should know about connecting the dots of back to your childhood even back to past lives. So my gifts are along the lines of helping people with those flashes of insight so that we can narrow the scope and really get to what this needs to be, which is a template, template of romance. What's that romance? Well, we are in the month of love. We are in the month of heart connections and heart healthiness and so in order to help you with a lot of this I have a, a free webinar coming up it is some beginning information about the twin flame body what it is what it isn't and about your human body connecting the correct higher heart connections how would you do that why would you do that is this just a given no that's one of the things I want to talk about. It requires active participation. And I'm going to have to keep hammering this. Active participation, active participation. I recently had someone say to me, you know what, Patricia, until I, still, until I started doing the work that you outlined, I thought that doing other work was doing the work. But you see, that is because this is so new. There are things that are based on ancient teachings from ancient uh, traditions, religions, etc., that got everybody to a certain point. It's time to level up and it's time to be new and it's time to be real about this. And it's time to, sorry, kick some butt. <laughs> um, the softened gentleness is actually for your intimacy with each other. This is not, this is, the word subtle implies softness and intimacy. There's an implication there right in the word itself. 
your subtle bodies. Your twin flame body comprises several subtle bodies that overlap each other and need your participation because you're the one who is living it. Now, what else is going on out there that you might be aware of? Well, is what I became aware of in my neighborhood, the headache. Oh, that nasty headache. What is that? I'm going to talk about it in here. Have you been suffering from any part of your body aching? How do you tell the difference between if it's an ascension symptom and you should ignore it or if you shouldn't ignore it? I say to you, don't ignore anything, and I'll tell you why. Your senses need to be astute, and you need to be alive for this. You're not being cut apart alive, but there are parts of you that actually require your alertness, what we call consciousness. They require you to be alert, awake. There's no going back to sleep on this. There's no going back to troll around and, you know, wherever you once found a comfort because little by little, it's all pushing and the doors are closing behind you. And that's quite a real thing. Take heart that many times you have probably started the process somewhere in the most recent previous lives in order to be here and up and running to do this. There is also something to be said about people who are in different places. Everyone's at a different energetic vibration. Some people are not awakened. Some people won't understand terminology that's used. People seem to think that they need to, you know, have a glossary of terms just to be able to navigate this or that there's some prerequisites uh, that really don't apply going forward. So I will be doing some myth busting in this. We're going to bust up some myths about what this is and what it isn't. And urban legends, things that have been passed around and people think that, well, that's how it is and it isn't. Urban legends, myth busting, busting up things. And though you may pride yourself on your BS detector, we're going to talk about some practical things to know. And what I have done with that is actually pretend to be five years old and be teachable and to learn because everything is teachable. I actually uh, quite admire the fact that somehow the universe manages to teach me something every single day. It doesn't matter in what area of the world it's about. It could be about paint. It could be about cars. It could be about the weather. It could be about animals. It can be about anything, music, reading, children, okay? And speaking of children, you can, the myth busting, people wonder about that. I kind of think my, my child is an angel. I kind of think my child is an indigo. I kind of think my child is a crystal. I kind of think my child is a twin. They're integrating the template. That's what they're here for too. And it goes, it goes differently for children than it does for adults. And not only have I seen this, I've helped children with it. I have my own child that I've helped with it. What's that you say? I don't want children. You don't have to have children, but children are all around you. And yes, they are some of the next wave of twin flames. They won't have to trip through some of the stuff that you may have tripped through. What are some of the other things? Timely topics I'm going to talk about from the past to the present. So even technology has helped this to evolve quite a bit. And it has helped people to connect, connect other people, connect to groups. Many times I have had people say to me, Patricia, thank you so much for putting out your videos because there's no one I know of around me to talk to. Or, in my country, there are no resources. Or in my, you know, tradition, I would be locked up or they would think I'm crazy. And there's reasons why a lot of us think that we're crazy. Just as well as a lot of us will think of, there's a really good reason to walk away and quit. 
So I'm not encouraging you to quit whatsoever. I'm encouraging you to start at the beginning, this new beginning that is being offered here for you to actually have the brand new template, which not only helps you bing, 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 deflect things that don't belong to you, that you don't want, that you don't want to come between you and your true love, the template that wants you to be healthy and healthier and healthier and energetic and vibrant, the template that enables you to pull through some of the highest, most poignant love experiences that you're capable of. And this is another big reason people get disillusioned. They have one experience and naturally they wanna chase that experience. And naturally that experience is attached to a person or naturally that experience is attached to a dream person, okay? And it seems very elusive. It doesn't have to be elusive because what I teach you is how to build it up from the inside so that you're the one that keep your activations going. And yeah, you're the only one that can do that. You're the only one that can resurrect. You're the only one that can boost you up. You're the only one that can focus on your health. You're the only one that can keep evoking that feeling of love again and again and again and again and again, no matter how much it takes, not to make you sick, not to say, I give up. There's no giving this up. You're past the point of no return. So when you join my uh, webinar here, we're going to talk about past to present. What does it mean in the present? We're going to talk about the state of love because if you look around, a lot of people are aware of love, not just hooking up, but love. People want a more spiritual love. They want something that feels like something. They want something that never leaves. And I'm going to focus on what your bodies need, what they really need. Okay, what do you, what does the two bodies that you have, even though it feels separate from you, it's still you. The higher part of you is still you. This part of you, the human side, is still you. You are you, are you, are you, as you're only going to be you. And you meld that together with the other you who's walking around here. And that's a pretty potent dynamic. But what do each of your bodies need? And there are considerations there that you need to know about. And there are things that I will talk about so that you're aware of it. And quite frankly, there's a lot of things that your other half doesn't know that winds up being gobbledygook that they can't even tune in on their radar. And more and more, this is getting to be something where the more you focus on your body, your light body, the new chakras, the new connections, the easy ways I have to do this, the easier of a time you're going to have. When you continue to have days that are high and vibrant and feel like love, because a lot of people will say that, I don't know how to keep that blissful state. If you're a generally healthy person, you're going to find that it's very hard to feel like down. If you are a sick person, you may have forgotten what it feels like to feel healthy. You may have forgotten what it feels like to feel like a child who runs and jumps and plays jump rope and skips along and plays hide and seek or plays it. You may have forgotten that, okay? I'm here to help you bring that back. Because when you bring that back, you go, doo -doo 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 -doo. you send that over to your other. Now, where is all of this going? I mean, really, where is all of it going? My dears, it is time to get the heck out of here. What do I mean with that? Or get the heaven out of here. That means you and only you will be the one who has to elevate yourself. So you may have felt like you have landed on a distant shore. You're between realms. You most definitely are not. 
Do you feel overwhelmed by some of this? Do you not know where to start? Do you turn to the internet for any glimpses of what's happening? The astrologers say one thing, the astronomy says another. I'll tell you what the astronomy says right now. We're just past the waxing moon. It's in the winter circle in the northern hemisphere, which is a series of stars that smack in there is the moon and these circle around it like a little arc. It's very beautiful. You can't see it if it's cloudy where you are. But it's there. What does it mean? Okay. What it means is that from two years ago in 2017, in 2017, that was the beginning of the end of the cosmic closures. Now, once you're able to start that process, there's a twofold thing that takes place. And this is why the body is taking priority because that actually is the general overview. You have to be able to recreate, reinvent, resurrect yourself anywhere in the cosmos. Go back to places that have been favorite places. Now, I have a personal investment in this. I've put in a lot of time. I've put in actually a lot of my own money to develop my courses and my teachings and subscribe to Zoom and you know, other things so that I can run a webinar. Yes, that is what I do because this deserves something that needs the support. And I need your support back. I need people who want to know about this, who are ready to move past just flipping a card. Because you know what? I remember a James Bond movie where he used a tarot deck and he had all the same cards in order to trick her into bed with him. So, I mean, you know, there's all kinds of stuff that you need to know. Is it true? Is it not true? Only through your body can you have the proper discernment. Only through your body can you send the love messages to you and your true love. And only through your body can you receive the health, the well-being and the much higher love that you are capable of. This is the reason. It's not just for a select few. And a lot of that's one of the myth bustings that I'm going to talk about. Not just for a select few. It is for everybody to integrate the template. Your kids, your moms, your dads, they may be just hooking in one part of it and come for their last incarnate life. But they're here to do it because this is where it is offered. And I'm going to go over some stuff in my webinar to talk about the past and why there has been a need to do this. So please register. There is a link below. Please register. The space is limited. I'm going to run it in a couple of times. And I hope to see you there. I invite any questions. Check me out on my website at twinflamebody.com. And thanks so much for watching. Join. You'll be glad you did. The price is right. Okay, bye.